Eric Mwad with Mwad.com. Let's take a look at a stock, Riot Blockchain. And here is the stock right here. For the day, it is up about 19%. Now, I want to show you what I was looking at a couple of days ago. In fact, I happened to be messing around with the chart on the daily. And this is what I was looking at. And this is from a couple of days ago. So today is December 11th. And this chart is from December 7th at about 1 o'clock. I had saved this chart because I wanted to talk about it. But here, did not actually pull the trigger and a large subscriber. So I was late on that because I was caught doing other things. But what I was looking at here was I thought the stock was coming to a level of potential support. Number one was a clear RSI lows line test. And the stock had settled down. I'd hit that line twice. So there was one reason that made me take a closer look. There's another reason, which is from the recent breakout here. We take that information where it broke out of that RSI range, which began this explosive run. So this RSI breakout corresponds with that price breakout before an explosive move. We take that information or that RSI level where it broke out and we draw our uniformity line should be something like that and yet again we see double bottom support on that line or at least that's what it looked like now I could also see that if the stock was gonna break down then it would need to break below that line and the previous line there's also another way to look at this which is this line here which recently has been support and failure levels for example, you can see uniform activity below the line back above it during those RSI movements for the lows somewhere here and there. And then it also was short term resistance when it moved here, which is off that daily high. And now we're seeing that the same line was showing potential for double bottom support here. So given all these lines, it seemed like I should take a look at this. Somehow I got distracted, but I could see that there was a potential here. If it held, if the RSI held on those three lines, so line number one is this line here. Line number two is the RSI lows line, which is right there. And line number three is the previous recent breakout right there. So I was thinking if all of those lines can offer support, the convergence of all those lines, we are looking at a stock that might recover. So what I'm going to do is update this chart. And again, this is just hindsight because I never took action of this, but I'm just showing what I was looking at at the time. So you just might have to trust me on that. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and take a look at the current chart. And we can see after my analysis, which I never took action on, shame on me. We can see now one line that was showing potential for a back, back test of the breakout. Whoops. This breakout here. We can see evidence of now that that has become double bottom support. Hence, while the stock is up about 19%. We can also bring back the line that gave us RSI lows. And that line also did find double bottom support. And then there's the other line here. So all of these lines have one thing in common. We had convergence of support, recent RSI double bottom support. After that support, we see the stock has responded. So that is how you can take a look at what a stock is doing short term and determine whether it has an opportunity for a bounce or not. Or put another way, that is how you can seek out swing trade opportunities. Now, this video would not be complete if we do not consider the monthly and weekly charts. And you can see here there is a breakout. 
which corresponds with this RSI breakout and that price entry for a very powerful move. And even though the stock was pulling back, has been pulling back, we can see that it has yet to break down below the breakout level. So until we break down below this level here, stock is still what we can call within a pullback back to recovery mode. In other words, until it breaks this line, there is no major, major breakdown. We can see that as long as the weekly RSI is moving back above 69.1, and holding above 69.1 on the weekly RSI, the stock has a chance of moving higher. Of course, we can see from this weekly chart, the true breakout will only come after it clears the recent weekly closing high at about the 2360 level. It needs to clear that price if there's going to be another additional surge, just like it needed to break out here for it to move higher. It is this most recent breakout that launched this amazing run from here to here so in the future if the stock wants to go higher it needs to break out above the recent weekly closing high at about the 2360 price range now there's another way of looking at this with a little adjustment which is you see this well you see this node right here there is a node right there. If we draw our breakout from there, we can see that the RSI breakout coincides with price getting, gaining momentum. We take that information and draw our uniformity support line. And we can see on the weekly, this is potentially another reason why the stock is moving higher this week, today being a Monday. If you take a look at the monthly chart, we can see that the monthly chart continues to be strong as long as the monthly RSI is above 69.1. Also, if we want to understand why this stock has gone on a major run, notwithstanding the fact that it comes from the cryptocurrency space, which has been on fire. So go back about four years, and we can see that at the breakout point, the stock met the minimum requirements, which we look for which is the minimum requirements for the ultimate Moade breakout. RSI broke out here, which corresponds with this price breakout past the prior monthly closing high. Also corresponds with our MACDs, both MACDs going to three-year highs. So we see that at the breakout, under the, let's call it about the $3 price range, the stock met the minimum requirements, price breakout, RSI breakout, MACDs breakout. We only need one of the MACDs to break out. So both MACDs here means that it is double good. So because everything still looks like it has momentum, as long as the monthly RSI is above 69.1, that is why I also went back to check on the daily for potential support. Eric Mwadet, Mwadet.com. As always, good luck, peace and blessings. E, I see. Yes. Mwah. Woo. Yeah. And so it is. Uh, <laughs> you still there? How come? Ha <laughs> ha.